What if I told you there is a cloud storage service that's faster, more secure, and cheaper than Dropbox? In fact, there are 10 of them. Oh, and stay tuned to find out which one might save you hundreds of dollars per year. Hey everyone, so today we're looking at some Dropbox alternatives, and honestly, all of them could improve how you store your digital stuff. They also come with plenty of potential benefits as well. And by the end of this video, you'll be loaded with everything you need to find the best Dropbox alternative. Stick around to find out what my number one alternative is. It might not be a surprise for longtime viewers, but my reason why might be. Coming in at number 10 is Nextcloud. Now, I know only hardcore cloud enthusiasts may know about this one, but casual users should learn about it as well. First off, what sets Nextcloud apart is that it's open source, which means that you can host it on your servers. It's like building your own personal cloud storage solution. Cool, right? Even if hosting is more techy than you're looking for, Nextcloud stands out with a huge number of apps. You can add items like calendar, contacts, or a notes app, kind of like Dropbox Paper if you tried that. And with the app suite, you can add as much productivity to Nextcloud as you want, making it easy to get work done and on time. Right, let's talk about privacy and security. Since Nextcloud is an open source software, the code is continually being reviewed and anyone can take a look at it if they want. Yes, including you. Plus, if you self-host, you can take complete control over your data for the ultimate in privacy and security. Your cloud storage and your rules. Now, that's what I really like to see. So when it comes to pricing, the cost will vary depending on how you use the platform and, and, and what you want from the platform, essentially, and which subscription options you choose. And if you want more customization, you can get Nextcloud for around 38 euros per user per year. If you are someone who prefers more structure in your software, I recommend looking at the enterprise plan. You'll need to get a custom code for this plan, but I'll say as an unofficial rule for software products, the more users you add, the sweeter the deal you grab, obviously. But enterprise software can always add up. Coming in at number nine is Treasure It, where Dropbox puts your privacy side in pursuit of its big data goals, Treasure It has zero knowledge encryption without you having to do a thing. And Treasure It is based in Switzerland, which is pretty good news. You see, the country is renowned for having some of the best privacy laws in the entire world when it comes to protecting your information. You might say it's like having a Swiss bank account for your data back when there were still Swiss privacy laws for banks. <laughs> you know what I'm getting at. But don't worry though, Treasure It isn't on total lockdown. If you, well, you can obviously still share files using secure links with anyone without the person needing a Treasure It account. Unfortunately, all the great things Treasure It offers, it, it doesn't come really cheap. Plans start at $11.99 per month when built annually and include one terabyte of space. A business plan starts at $19 per month per user. Also, on the annual plan with two terabytes of storage per user. And if that's all too much, don't worry. I have some more affordable services coming up, so keep watching. At number eight is Box. Now, Box may not be as well known as some of the other names in the list, but don't skip past it. Box is like a startup that goes public and makes everyone stand up and take notice. Box excels as a business tool with impressive collaboration features like workflow automation and task assignment. It won't replace a dedicated project management app, but it's like having a digital project manager in your, in your service. The features don't stop there with a highlight being Box Notes. It's like Dropbox Paper and has the same level of collaboration and functionality. It's kind of a blend of Paper and Google Docs. Not as minimalist as Dropbox Paper and not as overloaded as Google Docs. I really like how Box found the, the sweet spot here. When it comes to security, Box doesn't mess around. With Box Shield, you employed machine learning to detect vulnerabilities and prevent leaks. Although I should mention that privacy could be better. Case in point, you can get zero knowledge encryption, but only on higher tier business plans. And Box is not cheap, but neither is what you're paying for. Business plans have unlimited storage and start at $15 per user per month on an annual billing cycle. 
Personal plans cost $10 per month, also when built annually, and include 100 gigabytes of storage. Take Box for a spin with a 14-day free trial so you can figure out if it's the right solution for you. Our seventh Dropbox alternative is iDrive iDrive is more than just a cloud storage service, as it has also one of the best backup tools we've seen. Look at it as your perfect, like, hybrid solution. iDrive's main appeal is its cloud storage and online backup features. The backup part of your account lets you protect data on multiple devices, including mobile phones, and it has robust scheduling and continuous data protection, which is like having a digital monitor that uploads changes when you make them. You can share folders or files from your Cloud Drive folder and anything you add, delete, or change gets synced across your account. Security and privacy are strong elements with iDrive and you can choose to have zero-knowledge encryption. You can also enable to factor authentication and with these layers of protection, you won't have to worry about anyone accessing your account. iDrive has a plan for nearly any type of customer. A mini plan costs $10 per year and has 100 gigabytes of storage space. Obviously, that may be too little for some, and good news, there's a five terabyte option as well. And if you have multiple users and computers, you can get a plan that starts at 69 and 65 per year that includes 250 gigabytes of space. And this tier also has storage options available, so you can get the right plan for you and your team. Now, Coming in at number six is another cloud storage heavily focused on privacy and security, and I'm talking about Mega. I love Mega because it has like the most generous free account that starts at 20 gigabytes, which can bump up by completely by completing some basic tasks. And really, it's the best free cloud storage option when it comes to the pure storage element of it. Mega's claim to fame is its end-to-end -end encryption. Zero knowledge encryption is available on every account. Yes, including the free one. It's not restricted to a special folder either. Everything you upload to your account is protected. No one, not even Mega, can see what's in your account. Security and privacy are big reasons to consider Mega, but one unique feature helps separate it from the competition. The built-in chat app allows you to securely communicate with other mega users or even host secure video conferences. I get your average user may not care about these, but for teams and businesses that work remotely, I think they're good features to have and some businesses may consider to move their entire business operation into Mega, ditching Microsoft Teams or other chat tools. Pricing for Mega is at around $110 per year for two terabytes of storage and I say around that price since Mega's prices like constantly fluctuate based on the value of the euro. It's not the most expensive, but Mega isn't cheap either. And if you need a custom amount of storage, I recommend checking out the Pro Flexi plan at this point. At number five, we have a well-known alternative with Microsoft OneDrive. If you use Windows, you likely already know you get five gigabytes of OneDrive storage when you create a Microsoft account, but have you used it? If not, there are some good reasons to say that you should. OneDrive has just about everything you'd want from a cloud storage service, especially if you are a Microsoft enthusiast, a Microsoft user, as OneDrive is deeply integrated with Microsoft 365 apps. Let's say you're working on an Excel spreadsheet. Simply save it to OneDrive and it's automatically synced across your devices. Pretty easy. Another cool feature is Files on Demand, which comes with a desktop app. And with this feature, you can see everything in your account, but a file only takes up space on your hard drive when and only when you need to use it. It's great for keeping free space on your computer. OneDrive comes as part of a Microsoft 365 subscription with pricing starting at $1.99 per month for 100 gigabytes of storage. And if you need more space, you can choose up to one terabyte for only $69.99 per year. It's a pretty good bargain for all that OneDrive has to offer in my book. Coming in at number four on our list of Dropbox alternatives is another well-known cloud storage service, Google Drive. By some measures, Google Drive is the most used cloud storage in the world, and there are several reasons why I would use it over Dropbox. Now, like OneDrive, Google Drive is also part of a 
large, feature-rich, dense ecosystem, which is Google Workspace. Let's say, for example, you're working on a team project. You can create a document, a spreadsheet, or a presentation in your Google Drive account and instantly collaborate with everyone on your team. No need to email files back and forth. You can see all the changes in documents in real time, and you have all the features that you know from an offline desktop word processor. It's not all roses with Google Drive, as privacy and security are really a mixed bag. Security is about as good as it gets, including two-factor authentication. However, privacy is not on your side as Google collects data on you in just about every way. If privacy matters to you, and it should, Google Drive may not be the best option. And I'll add, neither is Dropbox for that matter. But Google Drive gives you 15 gigabytes of storage space when you create an account. And if you want to purchase a plan, affordable prices start at $19.99 for 100 gigabytes per year, or look at it another way. The monthly cost is less than your daily morning coffee. The number three option is one of the newer kids on the block, and I'm talking about iStrive. But don't let the newness fool you. iStrive brings some serious innovation and security to the cloud storage arena. iStrive is one of the only cloud storage services to use two-fish encryption. While most services use AES encryption, iStrive opted for what it says is an, is an even more secure encryption protocol. But if you're asking me, they're like both super airtight. So there's no real like better option. But what's even more amazing about iStrive is that it does not sacrifice upload and download speeds for its incredible security. And trust me, having some of the fastest speeds we've tested with stringent encryption protocols is a technological feat. Privacy is just as strong with iStrive. They're based in the UK, which has excellent privacy laws. In each account, you get a zero-knowledge encryption folder to protect your important files. The downer is it's only available on paid plans. Sorry, free users, but that's just the deal. Now, iStrive isn't just about strong security and privacy. To match its beautiful interface, iStrive has a virtual drive that makes your cloud storage account seem like another hard drive in your computer. And iStrive has competitive pricing with plans starting at $47.88 per year that includes 100 gigabytes of storage. And you can pay for two years up front or potentially opt for a lifetime plan. A lifetime plan starts at $299 for 512 gigabytes. Pay once, use forever, done deal. Next on the list at number two is pCloud. If cloud storage were a high school, pCloud would be interesting exchange student that everyone finds interesting and fascinating. It does some unique things that make it stand out from the crowd, and I'll start with a standout feature. It's pCloud's built-in music player. You can shuffle your tracks and create playlists as well. It's like having your own personal Spotify right in your cloud storage account. Another handy feature is pCloud's file versioning, and it's saved my bacon more than once. On some plans, you can go back in time with a feature called Rewind and revert to an older version of a file from up to one year ago. pCloud isn't the only service doing this, let's be real, but its version history is really one of the longest. Like iStrive, pCloud has a dedicated folder for your most sensitive documents called pCloud Crypto or Encryption. What bugs me is that it costs extra, even when you subscribe to a personal plan. But I've got to say, the protection you get is top-notch. All files uploaded to this folder get encrypted before they leave your device. That's as private as it gets. pCloud has personal, family, business, and lifetime plans, offering something for everyone. And personal plans start at $58.99 per year for 500 gigabytes of storage. Are you not sure? Try out pCloud's free account and get up to 10 gigabytes of free storage so you can really play around and see if it's the right solution for you. And as always, I leave all the links in the description box below so you don't have to like scribbling down all of what I'm saying. Now, that brings us to our number one alternative, and that, my friend, is Sync.com. For my money, Sync.com is the best all-round cloud storage available, period. What sets Sync.com apart is its end-to-end -end encryption for every single file you upload to your account. No extra fees, no separate folder, just the best privacy on all accounts, including the free one. Remember way back in the beginning when I said I'll tell you why Sync.com is my number one choice? Well, it's for two reasons. 
First is its exceptionally generous file versioning. A free account gets 30 days of version history, while paid accounts can get 180 or up to 365 days. And Sync.com's versioning does not put a limit on how many versions you can keep. That's truly amazing. Now, the second reason is collaboration. Typically with a highly secure cloud storage service, collaboration goes out the window. Well, that is not the case with Sync.com. Now, it's not the best and, and it cannot really compete with the likes of Google Drive in this arena, but Sync.com is integrated with the most popular Microsoft 365 apps, making creation and collaboration very easy to do. And matching Sync.com's strong security is its privacy. Sync.com is based in Canada, and while it's not the most friendly country for personal data security, Canada does pretty well. If you combine that with Sync.com's privacy policy and zero-knowledge encryption, you never have to worry about someone else getting access to your data. Sync.com's pricing is competitive, and you can try it out with a free 5GB account. A paid plan starts at $8 per month for 2TB, and if you're a business, the unlimited plan mm, has as much storage space as you basically need, and it costs only $15 per user per month. It's a heck of a deal. Wow. Okay, we've covered a lot. From the big names like Google Drive, OneDrive, to the lesser known, but still excellent options like Ice Drive and Nextcloud, each of these Dropbox alternatives brings something unique to the table, giving you plenty of options to choose from. So which one is right for you? Well, that depends on what you need from cloud storage. The best part of having so many options is that you can find the perfect fit for your digital life or your business. Have you tried one of these Dropbox alternatives? Do you have a favorite that didn't make our list? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. And hey, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. It really, really does help out the channel a lot. And that's it for me for today. Get out there and find your best cloud storage and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.